today we are starting the new topic that is polarization of light so before the the concept of polarization of light the two properties which gives the nature of the light that is interference and diffraction these two property of light interference and diffraction will not give the wave nature of the light that is as we know that light wave or simple any wave is characterized into two parts that is longitudinal wave and transverse wave but the phenomena of interference and diffraction will not tell the characteristic property of the light wave whether it is a longitudinal and or it is transverse but in uh, 1816 and uh, later that 1817 two scientists that is fresnels and then young gives that some source of light is a transverse in nature transverse is nature that that is the particles in the wave are oscillates in perpendicular to the wave propagation in general when a light coming from when a light coming from a plane source that is general source like sun etc it is unpolarized light unpolarized light or simply it is a plane light it the particles in the unpolarized light oscillates in all the direction there is no particular behavior of this light but when a special type of material is used the light wave shows the property of transverse nature of the light transverse nature that is the particle in the wave or light oscillates in perpendicular to the wave propagation this type of wave or light wave is called polarized light so what is polarization the phenomena of restricting the vibration of a light vector in a particular direction in a plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation of a light is called polarization of light isa kehne ka matlab hua ki light ke vibration vibration of light vector ko jisme e vector generally hote hain to e vector ko particular direction mein plane perpendicular mein jab usko hum restrict kar dete hain ki usi particles mein wo move kare ya wo oscillate kare is tarah ke वाइब्रेशन को या इस तरह के फिनोमेना को हम लोग कहते हैं पोलराइजेशन ऑफ लाइट और इस तरह के लाइट को हम लोग कहते हैं पोलराइज्ड लाइट पोलराइज्ड लाइट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अनपोलराइज्ड लाइट देर इज वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ पोलराइजेशन ऑफ लाइट इन इट इज यूज इन पोलराइड्स पोल polaroids it is special type of sun glasses it is also used in uh, uh, optical fiber etc so now next we are going to see how it is different the wave nature of unpolarized light and polarized light so here we see the pictorial representation of unpolarized light so when light coming from ordinary source like sun etc 
it oscillates in all directions oscillates in all directions and its direction is in the direction of propagation of the light here x axis is the direction of propagation of light and particles are we have taken the xy plane to represent the propagation of the light unpolarized light sometimes also called ordinary light another uh, representation of light is that uh, it is oscillates in all directions as we know that maxwell says that light is a component of e vector electric vector electric component and magnetic component but in general we take only e vectors so the e vector oscillates the plane of the propagation perpendicular to the plane of the propagation so this is the representation of the unpolarized light in the general case now in the next diagram we are going to see the what is the difference between polarized light from unpolarized light here we are seeing the how we obtain the polarized light so it is a source or ordinary light which is unpolarized in nature we have already seen in the previous diagram that unpolarized light is uh, represented by the arrow sign with dot in the middle now a special type of crystal is designed uh, which is uh, here we have considered the tourmaline crystal in which uh, the pq represents the crystallographic axis and it is placed such that uh, the plane of vibration passing through the origin then after the passing of the tourmaline crystal all the particles oscillate in particular one direction that is e vector oscillates plane perpendicular to the vibration of the plane of propagation so this type of light is called polarized light the pictorial representation of picto uh, polarized light in the, there we have two cases when the vibration in the plane of paper vibration in the plane this is the plane of paper so it is represented by this type of polarized light that is arrow sign perpendicular to the plane of the vibration and when the vibration is perpendicular to the plane of paper when the vibration is perpendicular to the plane of the paper then it is represented by the dot in the uh, motion of the, or propagation of the wave particle it is x axis so if we consider this is x axis so it is the vibration of the uh, e vector and it is also do, e dot uh, points represent the vibration of the e vector here so it is the uh, different from the um, unpolarized light in polarized how we um, recognize that the uh, particular is unpolarized light or polarized light then in the unpolarized light the arrow sign we have dot is placed in between them while in the polarized light we have two cases this that is there is no dot in between the arrow or uh there is dot but arrows are not there so this is the difference between the pictorial representation of polarized and unpolarized light now uh the next is how many types of polarization of light in general there are three types of polarization or polarization wave the number one circularly polarized light number 2 elliptically polarized light and number 3 that is plane polarized light now we are going to study them one by one so number 1 is circularly polarized light next topic is the type of polarization 
So according to shape and the locus of tip of E vector, the polarization is divided into three categories. Number one, the plane or linear polarization. Number two, elliptical polarization and number three, circular polarization. So, as the name suggests, plane that means one of the plane we will talk about here. Elliptical elliptical that means the locus will be in the form of ellipse. होगा. And number three, the which will be our locus will be in the form of circular or yeah, circle. होगा. So, what is plane or linear polarization? So, the plane polarized light waves are the light waves in which the oscillations occur in the single plane. The orientation or oscillation of E are strictly confined to a single plane. एक ही plane में इसका जो orientation, oscillation होगा, वो एक ही plane में strictly confined होगा. It is perpendicular direction of propagation. This type of plane or linear polarization also called linearly polarized wave. With the linear polarization, the orientation of E stays constant at a point in space. इसका कहने का मतलब हुआ कि the direction of E vector does not vary with time. E vector का जो direction होगा वो time के respect में change नहीं करेगा. लेकिन its magnitude varies sinusoidally with time. इसका जो magnitude होगा वो time के respect में vary करेगा with sine wave. So next हम लोग देखेंगे कि इसका diagram कैसा होता है ये कैसे sinusoidal wave की motion को confined बनाता है. So here uh, it is the simple representation of plane polarized light as we know that the plane polarized light is uh, moving forward in the one plane and its magnitude changes sinusoidally. So, sine wave changes with respect to time and it is moving forward in the one plane. So, if E is the electric vector which is making an angle theta with x axis, so we can take its x component as Ex and y component as Ey. Now next is, if the field is either pointing up or down, the vertical, it is called vertical polarization. And if the field is either pointing right or left, then it is called vertical polarization. Now representation of linear polarized wave. So as we know that a linear property of any wave can be represented in horizontal or vertical. So when particles or plane wave is moving forward horizontally, it is represented by the dot in the arrow sign moving forward. And if it is vertical, that is vertical linear polarization, it is represented by, if it is vertical, that is y axis, then the vertical linear polarization is represented by arrow sign perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So, in this type of polarization, one or two property is very very important. Number one, that E vector does not change its direction, its direction is always fixed with respect to time and the magnitude will change the magnitude if we take t is equal to 0 the magnitude of sine wave is changes always with respect to time so magnitude changes changes so these two property is very important in plane polarization or plane polarized or linear polarized light Next is circularly, sorry, next is elliptical polarized light. Next video, we will go, uh, study about the circularly polarized light and elliptically polarized light. In this section, we have studied the what is polarized light, what is unpolarized light, 
what are the pictorial representation of polarized and unpolarized light, what is the difference between polarized and unpolarized light and next we have studied that there are three types of polarization that is number one linear or plane polarization, number two elliptical polarization and number three circular polarization. All these are important and it depends upon the locus of E or tip of E vector.